What's up everybody? Rob here from the Basement Bike Shop and in this video we're going to go through troubleshooting most of the problems that you're going to encounter with a detangler or a gyro. Now I made a couple different gyro installation videos over the years. I'll put links in the description if you need to reference them. But if you have it installed and you're having problems, hopefully this video will help you work those out. So let's get started. The first problem we're going to look at is the same one we looked at in my U-brake troubleshooting video, and that is you pull the brake, but it doesn't return. So to troubleshoot this problem and eliminate all possibilities, we're going to start with the upper cable and the lever and work our way back to the brakes. We'll start this by disconnecting the upper cable from the lever and from the detangler unit itself. All I did is line up the slots in the barrel and the jam nut with the slot and the lever. Pull for some tension. Sometimes it can be a little finicky, especially if you've crashed. Sometimes it closes the gap a little bit. After that, we're going to disconnect the upper cable from the detangler unit. Now we're just going to take the balls out of the slots. We're not going to unscrew the barrels. All we're doing is seeing if the cable moves smoothly and freely. If the cable does not move smoothly and freely, then most likely there's a kink in the housing and you'll probably have to replace your upper cable. Our cable does slide smoothly, so we're going to move on to the lever. Now when we check the lever, we're just going to check for the same thing, that it moves smoothly and freely. Now if it does not move smoothly and freely, then either the bolt is too tight, and not the bolt that bolts it to the handlebar, but the other bolt, or the lever might be bent up, possibly from a crash, and would need to be replaced. Now rarely have I ever found that the lever was the problem, but it's nice to eliminate it right away. That way we can focus on finding the problem. So next we're gonna check the lower cable. We're gonna disconnect the straddle cable. And then what I don't show you is I disconnect the cable from the detangler unit. Same way we did the upper one, just pulling the balls out of the detangler unit and then checking to make sure that the cable moves smoothly and freely. And of course, if the cable does not move freely, then you'll need to replace that cable. Also, while you have the cables disconnected, make sure your gyro unit moves up and down and clears the headset smoothly. So if everything up to this point runs smooth and freely, then the problem is most likely in your brakes. Now whether it's a spring that snapped, or a spring that's too loose, or there's too much buildup of paint or clear coat on one of the posts, so the arm is not moving freely, I go over all that stuff in my last video, you break troubleshooting. Now I don't want to get into it again. I want to stay with more detangler specific problems. But if you need help with the brakes, if that's the problem, then check out that video. There'll be a link on the screen now. Well, there'll be a link in the description. The next two problems we're going to get into are kind of one and the same. One of them is that there's a lot of play in your upper cable. Like your lever doesn't return all the way. Or one of your cable ends keeps popping out of your detangler. Now most likely the problem is that your detangler unit is sitting all the way on the bottom of your cable stops and there's still slack in your upper cable. If your gyro unit is not sitting all the way on the bottom and your upper cable is loose, then the problem is in your lower cable or your brake. So if it is sitting all the way on the bottom, then we're gonna take up some of the slack with the barrel adjusters on the top and a little bit on the bottom. There should be no slack in the lever when you're done. And the gyro should be just hovering a little bit off of the bottom cable stops. And that should stop the cable end from popping out of your gyro unit and also take all the slack out of your lever. 
Now, if you cannot adjust your barrels far enough to take the slack out of your lever or lift the gyro just off of the bottom cable stops, then you might have to invest in NARPs to make your cable shorter or a detangler like the Shadow Conspiracy Sano V2 where it actually has built-in NARPs into the top. The last problem I'm going to get into is gyro flip-flop. And that's where when you turn the handlebars back and forth, your gyro kind of flips one way and then flops back when you turn it back. That's where it's really bad, gyro flip-flop. And I did that by making my gyro uneven on purpose. Now to get rid of that, you're just going to turn one side up and the other side down to even out your gyro, making sure that the unit is still hovering off of those bottom cable stops. And then uh, once you get it adjusted right, tighten it down. And that about wraps it up. Thanks for watching. If you like what I'm doing, give a like, subscribe, and I'll keep these videos coming. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, you can leave a comment below or you can send me a message. Thanks again.